Hey guys, it's Amy with to Plan, and today I am planning in Sophia's memory book for the week of Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day is this week, February 8th through the 14th, and I am pretty much going to be doing a Valentine's Day spread um, to talk about like basically the 14th. Now this is kind of a fun week because um, in addition to Valentine's Day, February 12th is my anniversary. Um, and so I'll be doing towards this end a lot more of like the florals and Valentine's Day type stuff. Um, and obviously it's Sophia's memory book, so we have to have space to do all of her memories. So this will be a fun spread. Now before I get into this week, I wanted to go back and talk about last week um, because I got a comment on my previous plan with me video talking about how like this side needed more icons. Um, and I totally agreed with that. When I was watching the video back, I noticed that it just felt emptier on this side. So I put more hearts on this side. And then now I'm feeling like I need more hearts on this side. So it's just a little bit harder to, to do this than you would think, I guess, because you know, now there's like some spaces right here and I wish I had more hearts. So anyway, I did go in and fill this a little bit more, but now this side feels a little bit emptier. Oh, you, you can never do the right thing. Um, I haven't taken notes you can see here um, for this week. I wanted to go ahead and finish out the week um, before I went back in and laid out like the notes just because I wanted to make sure that since I'm only using one box that I had enough information um, or not enough information but enough room for all the information that I wanted to include. And then we went ahead and started doing our Valentine's Day cards um, for Valentine's Day party which is on that Friday. Um, so that's pretty much what we're going to do is just kind of play with this page. Now, what I'm going to be doing is pulling these off the discs. Um, and let me show you the stickers I'm going to be using. Um, for this video, I am going to just fast forward through it. Um, I have, I haven't been feeling great. Like allergies in my area are like, like the pollen count is like super high. So I'm starting to lose my voice. I don't want to talk through it and then like halfway through cut out in terms of my voice. Um, so I'm just going to like do the like how I've been doing it like in my very early videos where I'm just gonna fast forward through it and then talk at the end to you. But let me show you the stickers that I pulled. I am pulling stickers from Flower Power. Um, and that obviously, as you know, um, is pretty much just like floral stickers. Um, there are some beautiful floral stickers in here. Um, and I might go back in and pull some additional stickers. Um, but what I wanted to do was keep it to like a very like new unified color scheme. So I'm going, to be using these stickers. Um, it's very socialite oriented where it's like this kind of like really bright pink with the um, navy. Um, and I'm gonna be using these stickers. I pulled this straight from Flower Power. Um, and so there are these stickers um, and the colorful boxes that went along with it um, and the clear sticker sheet and then um, a couple of like larger versions of it. So I will be using these stickers for the spread. Um, and then I did go, I was trying to find my socialite stickers. I could not find them. I have no idea where they are, but I did find this one sheet and I really wanted this quote. In fact, this is the reason why I pulled these flowers to begin with, because I had these, um, these stickers and I wanted to just put them down here. So that's where we're going to go. And so I'm pretty much going to dive in and do the stickers here and leave the colors in terms of the lines as they are and just move forward. I'm excited about doing this. Okay, so let's get started.
I think that's it. Basically, I just put stickers everywhere. Um, yeah, so I ended up using the flower power stickers that I had pulled, plus the one half sheet that I had, um, added boxes for some spaces. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Sophia has her Valentine's Day party at school that day, and then it's also my husband and I's anniversary that day. Um, and then we have, um, well, we have a couple of events um, and if I don't write, use these boxes for events, then I'll just fill it in with like something special for that day. Um, and then I just went through and just added flowers where I thought they looked good. Um, and so I think this is really cute. I really love this spread. Um, I'm actually gonna add, like I feel like this area needs more flowers. So let me pull this sheet. I feel like it needs something like right around here. So I'm gonna add. right there just like a little bit more and then like this spot's missing something okay let me add this pink floral now I was hoping to stay within like the navy and bright pink but the flowers ended up having like four different colors so there's the pink there's the um, blue, there's the light pink, there's the orange, um, but I think it's cute. Uh, it's non-traditional in terms of coloring for Valentine's Day. It's not the red and uh, hearts um, for Valentine's Day, but I think it's still cute regardless. Um, so that's pretty much it. Done for another week. Yay! I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye!